Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we're going to go over the brand new exotic knee pads that came with Title Update 6, and they are called Sawyer's Knee Pads. So I'll hop into my inventory here and go to them. You can see right off the bat they look very cool. They've got little eagles on them, and so they look very dope. So first I'll go over the talents that you get with this exotic, and then I will give my impressions of it. So, the first one is called Short Circuit, and it gives you plus 80% Jammer Pulse Charge Speed. Now I don't know if you guys have used the Jammer Pulse before, but it is pretty slow. It takes a few seconds to get that full charge going, um, which basically just increases the radius of your EMP, and then you can launch it out. But with this, it's a second or less, basically, until you get the full charge, and then you can launch that out. And it's pretty powerful with the rest of this, because the next talent, called First Wave Tech, Disruption Effects, which, um, if you don't know, it is an EMP, now destroy hostile skill proxies. After staying in cover for four seconds, you gain the lead by example buff. So that first part, your EMPs now destroy hostile skills. So in PvP, if you got a assault drone on you or you got a seeker mine that's coming towards you, you use that EMP and those skills are within the radius, they get instantly destroyed. That is very, very powerful. And then, so after four seconds, you get the lead by example buff, leading us to the final talent here, lead by example, gain 50% bonus armor while performing a cover to cover move. Now basically, this just means you're going to be really tanky when you're doing a cover to cover. It means you can close ground on players or NPCs very efficiently without taking too much damage, and it's really strong from what I've found. And then um, also with this talent is that if the distance traveled is at least 8 meters, disrupt all enemies within 10 meters and gain 10% bonus armor for each blue you have for 4 seconds. The disrupt occurs 1 second after completing the cover to cover move. So that can sound a little confusing. Basically, you're in, here I'll show you right now, when you're in cover, after four seconds sitting here, you will see a blue field appear around where you're going to finish the cover to cover, right there. So that means within that field, after, one second after you complete that cover to cover move, you're going to gain a, or it's an EMP is going to go out around that field. And then also, you're going to get bonus armor, um, which it says... 10% for every blue, that's in PvE, and if you click the left stick to do the PvP talents, it's 4% for every blue. So right now, I have 8 blues on this build. If I was outside the Dark Zone in Conflict, I would get 80% bonus armor, which is a lot, and then in the Dark Zones in Conflict, I get 32% bonus armor, which is still a hefty amount, and that's for 4 seconds after you do the cover to cover. So, I will do this so that you can see how it works. So you get that 50% bonus armor, and then EMP goes out, you get the bonus armor there, and that's it. And it's uh, it's very strong. So I think these knee pads are dope. That's my impression. I think they're very cool. Just like the BTSU gloves, Massive have really done a really good job with this exotic again, and I think the exotic armor pieces, except for the holster, which is kind of meh, but so far the exotic armor pieces are proving to be very, very cool. Um, so, and really these are useful in PvP and PvE. Um, you know, so I'll, I'll show some footage now. I have one of me solo clearing a landmark in the dark zone, and I kind of use these very effectively, um, just to kind of showcase to you guys how they work. This is against the Black Tusk and the Occupied Dark Zone, so I'll play that now and come back after. Get him! Target right on him! 
detecting contaminated gear. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, they're pretty effective. Um, now the way to get these knee pads, it can seem a little daunting because they're a random drop basically from any, I want to say a high-end activity. You can get them, I've heard people getting them from just like uh, public executions, but I'm going to assume that the drop rate is a little lower than it is on like heroics or tier four control points. The way I got mine was, so if you go here, you click up on the D-pad on your uh, on controller on console, it shows the targeted loot. The way that the little secret to get them is to go in a targeted knee pad area. So today it's foggy bottom, the zone, and so any activity you complete in there you're going to get targeted knee pad drops. So we got three control points in this one area. The way that I got mine, my friend was very generous and he gave me um, his that dropped, but we got them from doing a tier 4 control point in a targeted knee pad zone. So what I would recommend is for today it's in that zone, level up one of these to tier 4, and maybe you'll get it from one of the uh, activities that levels it up, or maybe you'll get it from the control point itself. And then if it's a main mission, obviously you just keep running that on uh, probably challenging would be good. And, you know, maybe one of those bosses or even the ads will drop it for you. That is the key to getting these knee pads instead of just hoping and doing random activities and hoping they'll drop for you because that might take a while. So you're going to see more of these knee pads in my uh, new PVP build video, which should be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited for that one. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support on my build video that came out yesterday. We've gotten a whole lot of views on that and some new subs, so I'm very appreciative. Um, and yeah, that's been awesome. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome Division content. Uh, leave any comments you have. I always read all the ones that come in. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.